So this is one of the hives behind, beside my house. And I was just going, to, going out, and I noticed a lot of dead bees in the snow. Oh, shit. Look at that. Okay. And that doesn't look too bad. I'm gonna plug up that that hole. I had it plugged up. I had it unplugged for a while, but just so they could get out easier than having it all the way down. Oh, Jesus! That's why I didn't notice that. But <laughs> freak's sake! This is the thing with these uh, these condensing hives. They have a top entrance, but no the bottom entrance, but no top entrance. So that's why. <laughs> There. Okay, I'll keep that open then, because right now that's their only, their only entrance or exit. Nice. I'll fix that later when I get back. There you go, beekeeping for today. These are the seeds from spruce trees. And that's a dead bee right there. There's lots of seeds falling. This is another little section of my bee yard, I guess you can call it that. And uh, anyway, here's a, uh, here's a hive that has uh, just the bottom entrance. Oh no, look, shoot, it didn't have a top entrance for a while and now the, the tape came off, so I'm gonna have to put some tape on there. Let's do it right now. <laughs> I don't have tape, but I can shove this in there and just plug up the hole for now. Make sure it stays in, into its proper condensing hive configuration. <clears throat> anyway, what I wanted to show was, uh, you can see the, uh, right here, you can see the heat coming out of the uh, bottom entrance. That's the only ventilation in this hive. And you can see the heat coming out, melting the snow. See that? So, they're alive, but uh, they're losing some heat there because that was, that was unplugged. And I just uh, stuck my head to the side of the hive and I can hear them humming, so they're doing good. Good enough.